settlement risk in cross-border payments may be reaching levels that threaten global financial stability due to an increasing in trading of currencies that do not have access to payment versus payment, so-called PVP, settlement mechanisms. Of particular concern are those from emerging markets. Now, in order to mitigate this rising settlement risk, CLS is collaborating with 12 global banks to explore alternative PVP solutions for a wider range of currencies and market participants. Well, to look at this work in more detail, I spoke earlier to Keith Tipple, who is head of product at CLS Group, and began by asking him how much settlement risk currently exists in the FS, FX markets. Well, in recent years, there's been an increase in global trading of currencies that do not have access to PVP mechanisms like CLS settlement. And one of the main risks in such transactions, settlement risk, is that one party delivers uh, the currency it's sold and does not receive the currency it brought, and that results in a, a loss of principle. Hmm. Such a loss may be manageable if the amount is small, but today's global FX market is very large, uh, with average daily volumes in excess of six trillion US dollars. Wow. And the rise in FX settlement risk has been highlighted um, following the BIS triennial survey um, mm -hmm. that was in 2019. Uh, much discussion on that. And we at CLS since then have been analysing trade data uh, from a number of our larger settlement members to understand you know, exactly how much settlement risk remains. What I can say is the early results from that analysis shows that much of the remaining addressable settlement risk in the market is in those currencies that typically fall outside of G10 currencies. Hmm. Oh, fascinating. OK, interesting. And um, how do you mitigate this and what are the advantages of doing so? OK, so PVP systems such as CLS settlements, it's widely agreed to be the best method to mitigate settlement risk. Mm -hmm. uh, and indeed, that's been recognised in recent uh, public policy proposal. Uh, it's been reinforced the need for greater adoption of PVP in the market. PVP settlement mechanisms that ensure ensure that the final transfer of a payment in one currency occurs only if the final transfer of a payment in the other currency uh, takes place but, uh, and are synchronised. And that ensures, of course, that neither counterparty is uh, exposed to the loss of principle. Mm. Today in CLS settlement, um, in excess of $6 trillion worth of payments are processed, uh, in 18 of the most actively traded currencies. Uh, that's mitigating settlement risk and reducing costs uh, and funding requirements uh, by over 96%. Um, and that is across our 70 plus members and in excess of 25,000 third party clients. And those third party clients uh, range from asset managers, banks, corporates, and other uh, non bank financial institutions. Mm, OK, and uh, talk to us a bit about the challenges and limitations of actually mitigating it further. Well, as noted, there's been, there's been an increase in global trading of currencies that do not have access to PVP settlement mechanisms like CLS settlement. Mm -hmm. um, for CLS settlement, all currencies and participants looking to join need to meet fixed common criteria before undergoing the agreed onboarding process. And this approach has worked very well indeed uh, for the currencies and participants that the service supports today. However, in understanding local market dynamics for a range of currencies not currently supported, we recognise that a one-size-fits-all approach will not necessarily work for all jurisdictions. And so we want to build a service with a high degree of flexibility to ensure broad-based adoption. Mm. Right. And what's your take on how the industry as a whole is addressing these challenges? Well, two major points on that. Uh, first, through public policy initiatives to encourage PVP adoption uh, in the FX market. Those include the Financial Stability Boards, Enhancing Cross-Border Payments, uh, Stage 3 Roadmap, published uh, in October last year. Uh, and this year, we've seen the updating of the FX Global Code and importantly related to this topic, amendments to key principles uh, concerning settlement risk, principles 35 and 50. Uh, they place greater emphasis on the use of PVP settlement mechanisms where available. 
uh, and further detailed guidance on the management of settlement risk where PVP settlement is not used. So just to expand on that point, actually, um, where PVP is not available, um, there are some existing ways to mitigate settlement risk. And we at uh, CLS actually offer such a service. Uh, we have a bilateral um, payment netting calculation service for FX transactions. Uh, that's called CLS Net, and that enables FX market participants to net payment amounts uh, directly with full automation uh, via a standardized process. So Keith, talk to us a bit about what CLS is doing to support the industry in tackling this challenge. Okay, well, very much in response to the need to increase PVP settlement in currencies that are not currently eligible for CLS settlement. We established a working group, which includes 12 of CLS's settlement members to evaluate market demand and explore potential alternative PVP solutions to expand the number of currencies and market participants we support. I'm pleased to share that initial feedback shows a very strong interest in such a new PVP solution. And as a result, we recently announced that an industry pilot is underway, which will evaluate further dimensions to those potential service models. While this initiative has considerable industry support momentum, uh, I wouldn't know that any such FMI solution must prioritise safety, stability and scalability, and that will remain a constant focus for us in this process. And last but not least, I would also note the importance of a strong public-private partnership in such a solution, very much similar to the one we created, uh, uh, that created CLS, in fact, in 2002. Uh, it's, it, that is required to build a successful cross-border solution to remove FX settlement risks from the global financial market. Fascinating stuff, Keith. So listen, uh, Keith Tipple, the Global Head of Product at CLS, thank you so much for your time and for joining us today on Cybos TV. Thanks very much.